what's up precious family how are you guys today it's your girl pastora janice batista here coming at you guys with a new video just gluing my little nail on really quickly before i put my makeup on i hope that you guys are all doing really well today gonna be hard for me to do this video i got my emotions all over the place but i really know that the lord he really wants me to be honest today he really wants me to be not that i'm not honest every other day but sometimes i gotta get a little extra with my videos and a little bit more in depth with things that may be happening in my life and um and using it you know for god's glory because I feel like every time we are going through things, right, in our life, it gives us an opportunity, you know, to grow with the Lord and to just become better people in general, you know, to become better women of God. And at the end of the day, you know, that's what we should all be striving for as women, right? We should be striving to do better every single day. We should be striving to do better in our lives, regardless of the circumstances, right? regardless of everything that was thrown our way we have to learn how to juggle as women and it may not be easy it may be easy for some women and for other women it's just a little bit more difficult you know and i just firmly believe like even when i was talking to a, a sister this week you know i firmly believe that as women of god we have to keep our head grounded you know and i and i feel like so many people so many women nowadays it's hard for them to to remain grounded because of the spiritual warfare amen that is at hand you know yes god says in his word that we're supposed to be you know mighty women of valor you know yes the word says that we're supposed to be continuously moving forward you know the word says that we're supposed to be a representation of the kingdom of god right but what happens when the enemy and all of his demonic forces right are raging war against you and and your character against you and your design because you see it's a beautiful thing when god you see he god creates us to be a certain way because it's like in our design it's like the way god created you the way he created me the way he created all of us our cousins our aunties our uncles like all of our family members our friends you know our co-workers at work everybody has a different design everybody has a different personality and it's like you got to we all have to learn to walk in our own identity we all have to learn to walk in the person that um god created us to be and where it raises conflict and where the spiritual warfare rises up is because the devil will use certain people to get us out of alignment. The devil will use certain people to, to mess with our design, to mess with our personality, to mess with our character, right? So that the blessings don't come our way so that what is due to us will not be given to us because the bible says that the devil comes to steal to kill and to destroy right so today i was looking at this word right and you know it says when we're talking about a call to surrender it says repent is this a cry of distress to unbelievers only or even to those who belong to god it says repentance means to renew your mind or to literally run or to literally to turn around. It says you may have already experienced the conversion from unbelief to faith. It says, but then there is a daily conversion in faith where your thoughts are renewed, right? So our thoughts have to be renewed because God says so. When we are connected to the spirit of God, yes, our mind is going to be renewed because we're in him and we're in his presence, right? But when you dealing with Satan, when you dealing with Lucifer and all of his children and you're dealing with demonic attacks and you're dealing with spiritual warfares that are hitting you left and right it's hard to keep your mind in a steadfast 
way where it doesn't affect you mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. I don't know if you guys are understanding, right, what I'm saying. Because when you are growing in the Lord, right, that you got so many people nowadays in the gospel that are presenting you with a false narrative. They are presenting you with a false prophetic movement that has nothing to do with the Bible. It has nothing to do with scripture. It has nothing to do with them positioning themselves in the battlefield. And that is why a lot of Christian people are walking around nowadays very confused, right? And very, you know, th their mind is fuzzy because they don't know where they're going and how their spiritual life is going to develop without the proper leadership, without the proper people in their corner helping them develop themselves in the way that they need to be developed or in the way that they want to be developed. And a lot of people are really needing that. A lot of people are wanting that. A lot of people are desiring that, but they don't realize that for them to be able to achieve amen that god bless you alicia my love amen um you know for them to be able to achieve that they're gonna have to put in the work so it's like god's word is faithful god's word is faithful but it's faithful to those right who literally want to obey the word and walk in the word so how are you going to renew your mind right look at the topic right how are you going to surrender? How are you going to renew your mind if other people that are around you are not willing to be teachable? How are you going to surrender your mind and how are you going to navigate through your Christian faith, right, with the other people that are not willing to, to work with you? You're willing to work with them, but sometimes they're not willing to work with you. And that's where we have a conflict. That's where we have a spiritual conflict. The spiritual conflict becomes a physical conflict, right? And we walk around, right, seeking peace. We walk around seeking validation. We walk around seeking answers from the Lord. And sometimes he's not going to give us the answer. The answer is sometimes surrendering every single day day, even though we don't know the outcome, even though we don't know why. God bless you, Alicia, sweetheart. Amen. God bless you too, my love. If you guys could please come on in. Yes, hit the like button, share so other people can get on, you know, into the live today and, and you know, be blessed by this word. Because I'm going to be honest with you, when you look at the word, right, look at this word. It says in 1 John 1, 9, it says, if we confess our sins, it says he is faithful and just to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us, right, from all unrighteousness. There are things at work that have been, you know, getting me on my nerves, right, because I have been working nonstop. And those of you that are in the Alpha Squad, you guys know, okay, okay. It hasn't been easy for me because I am such a team player, y'all. I am a team player. When I come on board, I come on board to make things happen. I come on board so that the place could get revenue, okay? When I come on board, I'm coming in to structure things. I'm coming in to not be anybody's friend. I'm not coming in with emotions I'm because I'm a, I'm a whole woman. You understand what I'm saying? So because I'm whole, I keep feeling like I got something in my mouth. Because I'm a whole woman and I'm very well put together and grounded in the Lord, right? It causes spiritual battles in my life. Okay, it causes spiritual battles in my life that could potentially turn into physical ones. Okay, not because I desire it and not because I want it. Okay, but it is because we are living in a time and in a season where in the workplaces, in the churches, in the government office, in the hospitals, we are living in a time where when you speak the truth and you say what is right, sometimes people are going to look at you like you being aggressive because truth, right, confronts the people that are not teachable. 
okay? Hear me with what I'm saying, okay? Remember what I told you in the beginning? It's going to be hard because there's certain things in my life that I like to keep confidential. There are certain things in my life that I don't like just coming on the live and just throwing it all out there. But I feel in the spirit that this is going to be not only to my benefit, but it is going to be to your benefit too. It is going to be for your spiritual development. It's going to be for your spiritual understanding because if you are the light and you are led by the spirit of God, you have to learn to survive in these environments. That's why I said yesterday, I am a concrete rose. The Lord has literally helped me adapt and grow as a rose in the midst of being placed in concrete because a rose needs to be placed in, in the soil to grow. But it is beautiful when you able, you have the ability to grow in concrete. What is concrete? Dealing with rejection. What is concrete? Dealing with people who don't believe in you what is concrete dealing with people that make things difficult for you to rise and 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 walk in who you were called to be you already got the oil you you already got the position you already got the anointing and the mandate from heaven so people will get so mad at you because you're not fighting to be fr fr front row people will get mad at you because you're not fighting to be in the limelight people will fight with you because they already see something in you that they don't have because you're willing to go the extra mile you're willing to be obedient right to what the Lord says. So he says, if we confess our sins, it says he is faithful to forgive us of our sins, right? And cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So sometimes you got to you know, it's hard because you have to meet other people in the level where they're at. And sometimes you got to do it over and over again. And it's like, you got a whole master's degree and you got to go back to you. You're dealing with people that swear they got a master's degree too. And you pointing to them like, no, you don't, you don't have any credentials. You don't have anything backing you up. Like you have no sustenance and you will sit there and show them all their absences, all of their failures, and they will get mad at you because you contradicting their narrative. You're contradicting what is in their mindset because Satan got them like twisted to the point where they're in another world. They can no longer see reality. And that's why I feel like the Bible says to us, right? He says, you're in the world, right? But you're not, you're not of the world. So it becomes difficult for us when we trying to help people see, right? The, the, the reality of things. And this is why I'm the type of person, right? When I'm dealing with people, I like people to bring facts to the tables and not feelings. And that's why a lot of people love me. And a lot of people will get so dang irritated with me <laughs> and my presence because I'm like that, because I just am the type of person that I love to increase productivity and I shut gossip down. And if I speak about, if I speak about people or I say certain things about certain people, it's is because I am stating facts. It is not because I am, you know, um, I'm, I'm bringing gossip. Does that make sense? And, and I don't know if you guys have ever been right in that situation where you're dealing with people, right? And, and they got all this drama and they got all these issues and all this stuff going on and it's all around you, right? And then you're trying to bring structure into your life. You're trying to bring structure into their life, but they don't like it. Because some people is like a pig, right? You give a pig wings and he thinks he could fly. And it's like, that, that's the worst thing to be an authority and give wings to pigs. Because when pigs fly, pigs return, they got wings, but they always return to the, to the, to the poop. Right? That's what the, 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 the pigs do. That's why the Bible says to us, right? Don't give your pearls to the pigs. Don't give your personality. Don't give, you know, your, your character. And this is something that I'm applying myself today into my life with, with, with pigs that got wings and that are around me because of my ability to thrive that is intimidating to people and you know like i said when you are walking into destiny when you are walking into a greater season and the devil knows it because you are a force to be reckoned with there's no way we're gonna avoid the wilderness and this is what i'm learning now right i feel like the lord had the israelites walk through the wilderness because they had to learn right and be confronted by god they they had to be uncomfortable and that's what we all have to do we all have to learn amen to be uncomfortable at work 
We have to learn to be uncomfortable at church. This is why the call to surrender is something so strong that the Lord was placing in my heart because he was showing me how so many people are in confusion in this season. They're in confusion in this time. They're in confusion in their home, in their workplace, with their family. They're in confusion with, when it comes to them and their identity and their development. So they don't, God doesn't want you to follow the wave. God wants you to follow the word. And the word says to surrender. When you're stressed out, the word of God says to surrender. When you're dealing with people that are getting you on your nerves, it is going to be a requirement for us to surrender when we are trying you know put in uncomfortable situations and people are spreading lies about us we have to surrender we have to confess our sins right we have to confess our sins like the word of god is saying he says if we do it if we confess our sins it says he is faithful right? God is not unfaithful because obviously sometimes we feel like, all right, we confess in our sins. God's not listening to us. No, that's a lie. If we confess our sins, God is listening. Okay. He will be merciful. He will be just. Okay. The Bible says if we do it, he is faithful to what? Not only to forgive us of our sins, what's our sins? Our ability to not be as patient with people, our ability to get irritated with people, our, you know, position when we get irritated with the circumstance because it's common sense. But you got to understand that this, we all have to understand that common sense and discernment is not a gift that comes easy to a lot of people, even though to the children of God, it comes easy, even though to the prophet, it comes easy. Those that that are in leadership, you know, it comes easy. Those who come from the street, okay, who are street smart, common sense, when you when you from the street, it comes easy to us. But to other people who not from the streets, common sense ain't as easy for them. This is why God will position those that got common sense with people who don't got it. So that they could learn a thing or two. They learning from us if they want to. If they teachable, right? They can learn from us, right? We could give a pearl or two. But if they not confident in who they are, if they don't know their identity, if they are settling for less, right? If they choose to, 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 to step on us to make themselves look good, right? That's where... We have to put our foot down. That's where we have to speak up. Amen. And, and really move with the spirit of God because he places people and, 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 P and things in position for his benefit, for our benefit. Um, Liz says, God bless you, my love. Amen. Sometimes people take longer to develop because God knows what's best for us to learn. Yes, exactly. Amen. So some people, like I said, they want to rem what happens when something, and this is where it gets tricky, right? When you are all about productivity and moving things forward, when people are in your circle and they don't want to move, it's okay. Nobody's going to force you, right? But when you're in a team that has policies and systems, and this goes for work, this goes for family, this goes for church, you got to have boundaries with people. You have to have policies in, in work environments. You have to have systems in churches built in place, right? So that we can surrender, so that everyone can surrender because it is in the best interest for the church. It is in the best interest for our families. It is in the best interest for our work environments and so that we can have productive businesses, productive homes, productive churches, right? Because like I said in the beginning of my video, Video, it's so hard where when you speak the truth, everybody wants to be like, oh, she's confrontational. No, you don't want to be pushed to, to, to grow. That's the reality. That's what needs to be said in the conversations. Not all oh, that this person, you know, thinks that this and, and this person that, because at the end of the day, you're going to move your way and I'm going to move mine. But how is the family going to advance if there's no communication? 
How is the workplace going to thrive if everybody doesn't do their part? How is the church going to be accountable and move in the spirit, right? With, without the truth being preached, without the spirit of the Lord, who is the spirit of truth, right? Being reverent and we overshadow truth, right? To accommodate the pigs with the wings, does that make sense? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. So I have to learn, right, in this environment <laughs> that the Lord has put me as a prophetic, you know, prophet. I have to learn in this season, right, to to to, to get down to the pig's level. I have to learn to, to meet them where they're at. I have to learn to get in the, in the, in the poop. I got to learn to get in the myrrh, right? That's not my environment. That's not where I was created to thrive. I'm not... That's not, I'm not a pig with wings. You understand what I'm saying? But the Bible is clear when he says, don't give your pearls to the pigs. So this is why I have learned, you know, the Lord was really placing it in my heart today, right? That this is why you got to be firm. This is why you got to have clear communication. <laughs> yes, this, this is why you got to have clear communication with people, right? And this is why you got to be okay with sitting by yourself and realizing that certain people are not going to want to deal with you. Certain people are not going to, because you, you just bring too much to the table and that's okay. But that's why when you led by the Lord, he will take you to the right table and the right people because I've learned and I've seen, amen, that the, that the Lord is always working things out for our good, right? But he says for, he will forgive us from our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So it's like, I feel like in this season, the Lord wants us to surrender all of us so that we can be cleansed from unrighteousness so that we can be cleansed right from the things that are mentally draining us at work he wants us to be cleansed so that we can operate as women of God right to our highest potential right with grown women with women who are seasoned in the word women who are seasoned at home women who are seasoned in these environments at work where they need people to come in and bring structure and stability right to the lives of people that desire it to the lives of people that want it that's why i said in this season you know if you look at all the prophets that the lord was working with their season was to go to the wilderness to be prepared their season was to be in the cave right while god was out there doing his thing and putting things into position so as we surrender today right we have to know without a shadow of a doubt that God is going to position us for the win. He is going to position us, amen, for the glory because when you get to the top, there's no way of going around it because for many seasons, I would run away, right, from the, the uncomfortable seasons. I would run away from everybody's drama and everybody's dysfunction because that is my weakness. My weakness is being placed in an environment where things are very dysfunctional and nobody wants correction. Nobody wants to be helped. Nobody Everybody wants, everybody wants a fake ministry. Everybody wants to be around the fake ministers. <laughs> everybody wants the fake glory. Everybody wants the fake anointing, right? So people, you can't really surrender to God the way you really want to surrender to God with people that have that type of mindset. You cannot give wings to wolves, you understand? Because when you start to give wings to wolves, right, they are going to destroy your ministry. They're going to destroy your character. They are going to destroy everything that, that is placed before them because they do not want things to grow for the Lord and to flourish unless the lies and the deceit can be you know, masquerading in the things of God, right? So that's where people, right, bring their malicious intent. They bring their malicious mindset into the ears, into the atmosphere of those who will listen to it, right? So it is my desire that after this video and after you guys hear what the Lord really placed on my heart today, right? That you guys would receive it and, and analyze it and be like, you know what? She's right. 
Like I need to work on myself. I need to work on bettering myself, not only for myself to benefit from it, but for the people around me to benefit from who, for, you know, benefit from who I am. Because at the end of the day, God is not going to take us to the wilderness. God is not going to promote us if people are not benefiting from what we have, okay, and from what we bring to the table. What we bring to the table has to benefit the kingdom, not us. It's not what we want. It's not what we like. That's how you can tell the difference between a false prophetic ministry and a real ministry. Because people who are unhappy in a real ministry are going to do it. And they're going to answer the call and they're going to go above and beyond because they're obedient. Amen. To Christ is non-negotiable. Their obedience to the kingdom is worth so much more to them than popularity. You see what I'm saying? So people, it's easy for a whole flock of people to fling to one place and be popular and think, oh, here's where the presence of God is because everybody flung there. No, because when you look, it looks good from the outside, but when you go in, <laughs> hallelujah, when you go in, okay, and you start to see the wolves for themselves and you start to see the wolf masquerading himself with wings, and you start to see the, the pigs with wings, pigs and wolves just flying like angels, like it's an angelic movement. You be like, hold up. When you got street smart, you be like, your street smarts are kicking and something will be like, something ain't right here. When you got the Holy Spirit mixed with the street smart, that's when you know you called into the office of a prophetic minister. That's where you know that God is calling you and he wants to use your ability. He wants to use your gifts. Because you're seasoned. You see, sometimes people will look at me and be like, she crazy because the street seasoned me. Okay. The ministry and the hardships and the things that I went through, it seasoned me. So I'm already in that place where it's like, okay, God, I'm in the wilderness. Whatever you want me to do, wherever you want me to go, however you want me to move. Like at the end of the day, God, you're going to position me. But once you come out of the wilderness, once you come out of, of the fire, once you come out of the smoke, that's it. That's why God turns our ashes, right? He takes beauty from ashes, right? That's what, but the, and nobody wants to deal with the ashes. Nobody wants to deal with the, um, you know, with the downfalls. Nobody wants to deal with the hard parts and, and prove themselves, right? And, and literally stand their ground and be like, I'm not going to be moved. Like no matter what you could sit out, I, I could like in this season, I'm telling you, it's uncomfortable for me because God got me in atmospheres, Right? Where I'm sitting with wolves and when I'm seeing them with their wings and I'm seeing the, the pigs with the wings and I'm sitting there like this is not normal. Only only eagles are supposed to have wings. Only birds are supposed to have wings. Like this is not this is out of order. <laughs> this is out of order. So you have to we have to learn to surrender to God. We got to learn to surrender to God so that it doesn't mess with us mentally, so that it doesn't mess with us physically, so that it doesn't mess with us spiritually, because at the end of the day, that's what the devil wants. He wants us to be, you know, confused. He wants us to be let down. He wants us to run away from the glory. He wants us to run away from the promotion. He wants us to run away from what's due to us so that the wind could, so that the pigs and the wolves could thrive. And it's like, no, I'm an eagle and I was created to thrive as an eagle and I'm going to fly as an eagle and you're not going to cut my wings. Okay. And that's what God is requiring. That's what it means to surrender. Like that's what it means to pray to God and be like, God, don't let these pigs cut my wings. God, don't let these wolves cut my wings. Don't let these evil people you know, with evil desires, you know, walk in lies around me amongst, amongst who I am, amongst who you call me to be, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to use what you got. Basically, you got to learn how to be in an environment where you know you may not be able to thrive there. You know, you may not be able to grow there spiritually. So you have to learn to use that environment for your benefit. You got to learn to take what you're going to take and, and move on with it because that's the beautiful thing about integrity. That's the beautiful thing about, about humility 
Because you see, when you got integrity and you got a strong work ethic and strong leadership skills, you can use that and you could take it to where, wherever you go. Those ethics, those work ethics, those qualities that you got, those gifts that you got, they're going to be used somewhere. God is going to place it you know, in a place where it could thrive, right? Where the rose, right? That learned how to grow in the concrete will then learn how to grow in an environment, right? Where God ordained it to be and thrive, but you got to be willing to grow in the concrete. You have to be willing to surrender in the concrete. <laughs> you have to be willing. Amen. God bless you. Um, Arthur. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Um, Liz said, if we don't surrender, people will still be operating from the past or you. Yes. And we have to always be stretched and grow. Amen. Yep. Exactly. Moving in a different. Yes, exactly. And I, and I, that's why I said it was hard for me to open up about this today because I had to really be vulnerable today and really speak about some things that I really didn't want to speak about. I really didn't want, cause I don't like throwing people under the bus unless it's necessary. I don't like talking about things sometimes because, you know, people know who I am. And it's hard when they be like, oh, my God. You know, especially if they work and know I'm a minister. Or if they know and see my videos. Or if they know, like, dang, like, I know who this girl is. Like, <laughs> like I, you heard, you saw her video with all that crap she was talking about today. And it's like, it's the truth. And it's like the truth will really piss people off because it's like you did not try to be, you don't want, that's why I said when it comes to me, I don't like to bring feelings in the table. I, I like facts on the table. I don't like feelings because when it comes to, you know, feelings, you bring that into the family atmosphere, right? When it comes to church, you, you could bring your, your feelings sometimes. You understand? Because you guys are family. But when it comes to people at work, you guys are co-workers. You know, yeah, you want to have that friendship and you want to have that, you know, love for each other. But at the end of the day, not everybody wants that. And not everybody desires that. And everybody's going to look at you like you crazy because you a gatherer and you and, and they want to be a scatterer. They want to break the, you want, you trying so hard to, to put the team together for the benefit. And they're going so hard to be like, to be you, but they're under, under, behind the scenes they're breaking everything apart and it's so hard because they want the recognition they want the recognition and they didn't put in the work right they want the recognition and they're tearing everything down to make you look bad and it's like you know when that's why i said when when god puts you in a leadership position you got to know how to see through the cracks you got to learn because people who, who get into leadership and they're not prepared for the position Everything crumbles down. Everything crumbles down because these wolves and these pigs with wings. Listen to me. I feel the spirit of the Lord. Everything begins to crumble down at home. And everything begins to crumble down in the church and in our work environment because of these wolves and because of these pigs with wings. And we have to learn to kindly, right, address things in a way where it doesn't make us look bad and it doesn't look, make us look like confrontational. Even though you speaking the truth in this generation <clears throat> is already going to be a problem. Does that make sense? It's already going to be a problem because there are people that they don't want the truth. There are people that they don't want the, conf the they don't want the truth to be spoken because that is confrontation to them. So you got to learn to thrive for the season that God has you in an area where you can't grow. You have to learn to surrender. That's the word that the Lord gave me today for you guys. We all have to learn. And like I said, this word is for y'all, but it's also for me. We have to learn to surrender in these environments, you know, that we may not feel comfortable and we may not, you know what I'm saying? Want to be in. Amen. God bless you, Miss Keisha. Were you guys blessed by this word? Amen. I really hope you guys, um, you know, were blessed by that word. I really hope, like I said, that it really ministers to y'all and you could see the stuff that I'm going through, the things that I've opened up about today. I hope that you guys could really see my, my, my mentality and my mind and where I'm at and where I operate. <laughs> And, and what's happening, 
you know, and it could be a, a, a blessing for you, you know, a blessing for you to go back and, and deal with these pigs with wings. I, I should move the title of this um and put God wants us to surrender. I got to put pigs with pigs and wolves with wings like that's literally I think I'm gonna change the title of this the, this message because that's literally what I got you know, from the message. That's literally what I got, you know, learning to grow around pigs and wolves with wings. Like, you know, it's very hard. It's irritating. It's frustrating, you know, but we have to, we have to push through. Amen. And we have to do it and we can't give up because if we give up, they're going to try to, um, you know, step in after you already done did all the work. They're going to try to step in once you already did or the once you already built the you know you already built the facility you know you already and that's what happens in the family like you already put everything together you know you 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 paved the way for people to thrive and then they want to you know discredit the one who did all the work and you like oh heck no not on my watch <laughs> right that's what it, i feel like that's what it really means to be a gatekeeper that's what it really means to be a you know a person that is a, a watcher you know when you are a watchman and a gatekeeper that's what it means you are watching and you are protecting for the benefit of the kingdom, not for the benefit of yourself, for the benefit of the kingdom. So, well, you know, prophets in the Bible, when they were called gatekeepers, when they were called watchmen, is because they heard the instructions from the Lord and they thrived in truth. They were able to build. They were able to watch and stand guard, okay, for long periods of time when they were uncomfortable when they were put up against the test, right? When they were put up against people that wanted to go up against the agenda of God, okay? Up against the agenda of the obedient prophet because they knew that if the prophet was able to succeed, if the prophet was able to thrive, then the will of God would be, would be made manifest and would be made powerful. And then the wolves and, and the pigs right? That got wings will look like what they are. You will look and be like, oh my God, the pig and the wolf, they're flying. They're not flying. It looks like they're flying. They've been trying to make you feel like they flying, but all along they was going like this and they were standing on a chair. <laughs> they were standing on a chair and you like, oh crap, you, you almost done play me out. But then when that's discernment, when you could be like, yo, I see right through you, like, yo, you a pig. And you a wolf with wings. And I see right through you. And you're not going to, you know, we don't want to give people the opportunity. We don't want to entertain that. And that's what I mean about us surrendering. Let's not, you know, this is a word for me as well. Let's not entertain these wolves with, with, and pigs with wings. Let's not entertain them. Amen. Let's thrive showing the people who we are let's thrive with our wings let's thrive you know being the alpha squad that god called us to be let's thrive being the the women that god called us to be and let's work well with the women that want to work well with us let's work well to make each other look good and let's work well to be productive and let's work let's work well to to act like women and to act our age and to act accordingly and to represent the gospel the way it's supposed to be represented to be a good ambassador of the kingdom of god like let's work well to to move the kingdom and to advance the kingdom and god will do the rest amen if we surrender he's gonna cleanse us like i said earlier in the word of all unrighteousness and he will put everything in its place and he will put everything into position for us and we're not just because we're saying it but because we have to to believe it by faith we have to believe that the issues that we're facing right now if we're gonna repent to him today we're gonna tell him like god this is the issues forgive me for my sins forgive me for my part but show me the way make you know pave the way for me so that i can you know navigate through that because sometimes for our victory that's all god sometimes is waiting on he's waiting for the humility of us just keeping him in the loop and just keeping him informed of, of who we are and, and what we're doing and how we're trying to move. It doesn't mean that God is blind or that he can't see, but sometimes he wants us to grow in humility.
humility, keeping our chain of command informed on, on our heart and how we feel is opening up that relationship with the Lord and having the ability to surrender to him and talk to him and have those conversations. And not only that, but being open and transparent so that other people like you guys who are listening to this and watching this, you guys are like receiving and, and seeing things from your point of view, right? You're seeing what can be hurting me or what can be affecting me or what may be challenging for me, right? And you guys can take the good, throw out the bad, right? And apply whatever it is. God bless you, Miss Keisha, my love, amen. And apply whatever it is that you want to apply to your life. But we have to rebuke fear. We have to rebuke fear. We have to rebuke the feeling of being uncomfortable. We have to rebuke the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. We got to confront him and let him know like, no, I'm walking into my next season. I'm walking into my next purpose. I'm going to be aggressive with the kingdom. I'm going to be aggressive with my prayers. I'm going to be aggressive because God said that the kingdom of God suffereth violence. And in these workplaces, in our families, in place, in in, in the environment at church, we need to stand our ground and be like, I will not compromise and I will not negotiate what the truth is. Okay. This is the truth. And this is why I believe it. And we have to learn, right? Even in this season, I'm learning to just let the word speak for me. And I'm learning to, and, and, and I was speaking to my husband about my challenges other people that God is bringing into my life about my challenges. And I'm learning in this season to, to break down the word and let the word break itself down and, and, and give the word together instead of me giving you guys like my opinions where I'm keeping certain emotions, right? And certain things out of the equation and not giving, I'm giving the word, but not in, in its complete form, right? And, and for me to do that is going to make, like I said, certain people who know me and watch me and are close to me is going to make them feel uncomfortable. But it's not, you know, I've been doing these videos for 12 years. It don't matter. Like I got, I go through those seasons where it's like, I open up, I, I close up, I open up, I close up, I open up, I close up. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I have to be bold enough to do these videos. And when they see me in the streets or they see me in the work environment, or they see me in the family, or they see me, you know, in, in the congregations, they know me and who I am and what I, what I stand for. And I have to be the same way in these videos that I am when I am around people face to face and not be intimidated, right? By their lack of comprehension. <laughs> okay. Not be intimidated because, you know, truth is confrontation. And that's what, the, that's the narrative that they paint. You may not be trying to bring that environment, you know, to the table. You may not be trying to bring that energy, but certain people who don't want to grow or move past, you know, the, the reality and the facts are always going to talk about X, Y, and Z. And you're talking about A and B. And they just want to keep mumbling about A, you know, Z and X and P and Mo and all that stuff. And you're like, man, this is like a waste of my time, a waste of my energy. Like, Lord, teach me how to surrender with this. Because sometimes it's like, God bless you, Miss Gina. Sometimes it's like, man, I can't deal with this stuff in the work environment. And I can't surrender God like this because it's not easy. And these people about to make me them back smack them upside their head. Like, because, you know, and, and for me... It's difficult because my own children are so structured and they're so seasoned that 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 my children don't make me go through things that these 30 and 40 year old babies make me go through. Does that make sense? So like, you know, my own children are see are more seasoned than than these 40 year olds and these, you know, people that that sometimes don't want to grow. Like I said, if they want to grow, then we will work well together. Right. <laughs> Renee, if we if we work well together, we will we will thrive. Right. But people that just want to keep on doing this. You know, we, we can't thrive like that. So I love you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like it. Please share it. Um, I finally got a stable shift. Um, this weekend is going to be my first weekend off and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I, I worked hard for it. So we'll see how everything goes from here and moves forward. But please, um, ladies in the membership, be patient. I know I got like two videos, excuse me, coming for you guys. And I have to work on the stuff for this um, month's 
courses, but I promise you guys, I'm working on that and we're gonna, we're gonna push through and we're gonna do what we gotta do. Okay. So you guys know, um, you know, we're just gonna continue trusting the Lord. Okay, ladies. So I love you. If you want to register for those of you that are not in the membership, please click the link above so that you guys can check out, um, our membership, receive your welcome package and also get started with these custom courses that are going to be coming your way that have to do with, um, the issues that you're facing. That's what the membership is about now is bringing videos for women, um, that are dealing with spiritual warfare attacks and our new courses now are each based on the needs of the women. Amen. So I think that, um, we just did two of them. And we have like two more, amen, to do that will come out this week about spiritual warfare. And I think the next month, like I said, I still don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to work through it and push through. Okay, ladies. So if you're interested, hit the link above. I love you guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay. Bendiciones.